I'm doing all this. Um, I'm not going to record, but whatever. All right, guys, welcome. We're going to do some dream hack previews. Obviously, today, there were some games on Friday. I didn't do a preview before this because we didn't know groups. Couldn't do it. And also, it's better to do it when we get down to the final 16. We saw games uh, from the top 32, group stage. They play double um, elimination. Then the top two move on from each group. There's usually four in a group. There was one group with three, as you can see, with Energy, who had the number one seed, so they get one less team in their group. Um, but yeah, so that's how it worked today. Same exact format for tomorrow in the groups. Now there's uh, less groups, obviously. There's only four groups for top 16. Top two again move on to the bracket stage, where the number ones from groups will play number twos. Uh, honestly, I have no idea which number ones number twos, because it seems like they keep reseeding after each round. We'll get into that in a bit. Uh, let's do it. We got a Twitch chat over here on the side. Actually, it'll be over there because the camera is hard. Uh, but let's go into what happened today in case you missed it. And then you guys can check it out tomorrow because that'll be when we see a lot of good games. Uh, so let's get into it. First, we'll start with pool number A or pool AA. Um, so this one, uh, Energy didn't have to play a game. So they got a little bit of a break. But at the same time, I think it actually was... Uh, like detrimental uh, for them because they didn't get to get their warm-up game in basically to start up their day. The reason why I thought this was a little bit weird was because Onslaught and Bracer Impact, they played uh, on the main stage. They were on camera. And then immediately after, uh, Energy had to play Onslaught on stage again. I felt like that was a little bit of... Um, like a little bit messed up for energy who's like oh now we gotta play a team that just played back to back when they could have shown any other games because they obviously didn't show every single game on the main stage so that that was a little messed up but energy did uh, get the win uh and pretty convincingly as well so uh, good on them so they move on into the next round so does onslaught though as well they had to rematch against brace for impact and they did get the win there so easy enough easy pool there uh there wasn't a ton of, of upsets today but there was a couple so we'll get into those in a bit uh, we have Envious here, a team from Europe, obviously, coming over, playing with Greasy. They move on very easily. And then uh, uh, Ambition also moved on 2-0. Uh, this pool, sure. Like, the only thing that sucks in, is in a four-man pool is you almost always get a rematch in the loser final. Sure, like, it gives the team that won the first round an option to have a chance for the number one seed. <laughs> I forgot to turn off Twitch alerts. So there's that. Extract plays. Thank you so much for the five dollars. That's fine because I don't really put it on SoundCloud that much anymore. Uh, but so we get a lot of rematches, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but uh, ambition, they got the win on both sides there, so they move on. Moving on. Uh, we got AA three. We have Gale Force, another European team. I love how all the European teams are in different groups, so we get to see them play all these uh, okay uh, NA teams and. Uh, they honestly didn't have any problems. Gale Force moves on easily 2-0. They're my favorites to win this entire tournament. We'll get into that in a bit. And then we have Ascension, who actually won the rematch over six manded to move on. Ascension is Derek's team, I believe. Pluto will let me know. Because Pluto's the man. He's in chat somewhere. Or someone will let me know. Uh, so they get the rematch and they beat uh, six manded. Again, like, I'm not a huge fan of that, but hey. There's only so much you can do, right? So, uh, it's the way it is. Uh, okay, moving on. The last group for AA, uh, also at DreamHack, they started an hour late today because the internet died in the entire DreamHack. So, that was fun. <laughs> but here we see the major upset of the day. We have Renegades beating Rogue two games to one. Now, Renegades, they brought all subs, basically. It was Moses, no Dapper, no Timmy. So they got Moses, a dude with a nose. Yeah, who would think he would actually win a series? And Hot Wheels Sid. Hot Wheels Sid's pretty cool. Uh, very impressive win there uh, uh, over Rogue. And honestly, Rogue has impressed me with how much, how well they've been doing in all these like special events or whatever, or even at the World Championships at times. Um, they've actually impressed me a little bit more than I thought. It seems like they're really putting in the grind, but here just shows a moment of weakness, I guess, for them, and they lose to Renegades. Uh, but then they beat Team Rocket US's back. Almost made it. I'm glad they won their uh, lower semifinal, uh, Team Rocket US. They still hold the record for the worst ever league play record all the way back in the MLG Pro League. Sure, it's not the same exact league, but uh, what they go? It was like 0-30, I think. So 
hats off to them. It's not the same people, really, except for not valid. But uh, I love those boys. And Dig Dog, new member of Psionics. Congratulations. Couldn't have picked anyone better, Psionics. Good on you. Uh, Rogue, though, moves on, but they're going to have a much harder group, which we will get to in a little bit, because they come in uh, as a two seed now. So they got to battle two number one seeds uh, in their next group and only top two advance, obviously. So we'll get into that in a bit. Um, let's move on. We got G2 Esports over Genesis. That was the last game they showed uh, live, at least. G2 Esports, pretty clean win. Uh, like G2 has been living and dying by JNAPS, and JNAPS went off, so they easily win here. Um, and then Genesis clean 2-0 as well on the bottom, so they get to move on as the second seed. They actually get a little bit more of a favorable group because of the Renegades win, which we'll get into in a little bit. Muffin Men. Beat Hollywood Hammers, actually a pretty close series, but finally in Game 3, Muffin Men came out strong. Uh, uh, Gimmick is one of those players. Watch out for him during this season. Like He was one of those guys. He was always on the sidelines uh, with the Muffin Men. He was the sub for Lachino. Then he got his chance in the MCS. Then they're like, you know what? We're going to try JNAPs for a bit. No, we're going to try Dapper. Like They're always trying to go for these cuter boys, but then there's still, there was always, there was always Gimmick. Just sitting by the sidelines. Waiting for a second chance. Sure, he flirted. He flirted with some other teams as well. But finally, true love happened. And Gimmick has now returned. And honestly, he's been playing out of his mind. So I'm really excited to see him. Hopefully, he makes it into Season 4. Because uh, I would love to see him and Squishy Muffins, obviously, and Torment uh, do some big things. But Hollywood Hammers put up a chance here. But it's funny because every time I see their name on streams, it's like H Hammers, or at least uh, for this stream. So I just think Hebrew Hammer every single time. But whatever. Hollywood Hammers, they make it through as well. The old Take 3 team. Fuck Chrome. You know, the usual. We uh, got to see Chrome and Squishy Muffins, too. It was the uh, first time we got to see them. Those pretty faces. So, moving on. Another European team. Mocket Esports. Beaten Myth Gaming, which was untethered. Which was Denial. Lachino said Jr. And Corrupted G. So, Mocket beat them pretty cleanly. 2-0. That doesn't surprise me too much. Like I feel like both of those teams are like... Uh, Myth is one of my like 7 to 10 squads in North America right now. Maybe even further down. Who knows? Like, I think they have to be worried about making league play. But we'll see. Mock it. It's kind of like a 5. A solid 5 to 6 in Europe, I feel like, right now. They're inconsistent, though. Sometimes they have really big wins. Sometimes they have kind of poor losses or at least closer games. So uh, like it's good to see them on top forms uh, uh, so far. It just makes it better for the show. And we got Myth Gaming moving on over LSU. But LSU put up a fight against Mocket Esports, 2-1. And Myth, though, easily 2-0 there. So that could be some of that Mocket inconsistency showing up. Uh, moving on, one more group. Do you think Myth will make top eight in RLCS Pluto S? Um, I want to wait until I see like every single roster for North America. Uh, but it's going to be close. It's going to be one of those like right on the fringe and we're not really sure. Um, so I'm questioning them now, but that's a, yeah, that's like a right on the borderline. They could be ninth or they could be eighth. It could be really, really close. So we'll see. Um, all right, moving on. We got Flipside Tactics, another European squad hanging out over in North America after the X Games. Beating out set to destroy in an extremely close series. A Halcyon posted on Twitter came down to game three. I think 20 seconds left Halcyon score or 30 seconds left to tie the game. And then Flipside won with like 10 seconds left. They scored a goal in game three. So set to destroy. Don't sleep on them. Sure, like 0 and 7 memes and all that stuff. But uh, they're putting in some work here and they get close uh, results. Like they could easily make it back into season four league play. They could be one of those. Uh, upset teams again that kind of makes it because they've been putting in a lot of work as well and that experience is always going to help from season three so set to destroy they also move on cleanly like flip side and set to destroy had no problems outside of one another here and now we get to the groups which is going to be a lot of fun to watch now so once again we got groups top 16 top eight go to a single um, elimination bracket right here as you can see so top 16 one versus two losers so on and so forth so we'll get there in a second um but, because I will predict the rest. Um, okay. Here we go. Pool number one. We got Ascension. That's Derek's team. Bell. Life, I think. Not really sure. Hollywood Hammers. Mocket Esports. Energy. This is a tough bracket. I feel like Hollywood Hammers has a chance 
to beat Maki, even as a chance to beat Energy, who knows? Because we've seen in the Astro Tournament, uh, Energy fall into a lesser-known squad as well. Um, and there's been a lot of flux, like... These, I believe, are still best of three, so it's also, like, really quick series, and, like, you can easily lose these in the blink of an eye, so we'll see. I'm calling a set to destroy the reverse G2. Okay. I'm calling, let's see. Destroy the reverse G2. Okay, so you mean they're going to beat G2 in the reverse sweep? Is that what you're saying? I'm not really sure. He's calling it, though. He's calling it on the channel, so when they do, there you go. But Hollywood Hammers has a chance here. I think uh, this group is pretty tough. I think Ascension probably won't win a set here. They'll probably go out pretty early. Um, I think Mocket and Energy will advance, though. Um, it depends what Mocket we see. But they're looking pretty decent. Hollywood Hammers, though, don't count them out. I'll give it a game three in uh, the... Hmm. Probably probably in the Mocket series. Like Energy has shown enough to me now that I believe they will beat Mocket. And come out as that number one seed. They should for NA sake, but we'll see. But once again, we got one European team here. We got Gale Force in group number two, the only European team. Envious, group three, the only European team. And then flip side, group four, the only European team. So we got the four European teams that came over, like the big four, and they're all in separate groups. They could easily all win their groups, and then NA will go home crying once again. But we'll continue. So pool one should be close, but I'll give it two energy and mock it. Uh, pool number two, Gale Force Esports. They're fucking gods. Simple as that. Myth Gaming, they're the opposite of gods. <laughs> Onslaught Esports. Sorry, but you're going to know toot everywhere. And the Muffin Men. I cannot wait to see Muffin Men versus Gale Force. That'll probably be my series of the day. I, I'm extremely excited to see that matchup, see how that plays out. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I got Gale Force number one. I got Muffin Man number two. I love the Muffin Man. Like, I think they're really strong, but they got Gale Force. It could possibly be, like, Muffin Man are probably number two in NA at times. Um, it just depends on the day, I guess. Uh, I would probably put them in number two for uh, myself personally. And Gale Force number one. So this group's tough to uh, have one of them be in the lower side of the top eight, but I'll have to give it to Gale Force and Muffin Man. Um... Yeah, it's tough because I feel like Muffin Men, they like it kind of gets screwed by having to have Gale Force in their same bracket. I feel like Muffin Men got a little bit of a bad seed in here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the seedings were, but yeah, it doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't look great for Muffin Men. But next up, we got Envious, G2, Rogue, and Set to Destroy X. Holy shit, is this the group of death? Easily the group of death. This group is going to be insane. All these matchups should be pretty decent with Set to Destroy actually playing okay lately. I feel like Set to Destroy will probably uh, come in fourth in this group, but they played Flipside really close today, so who knows? Set to Destroy could uh, do some shocking things. Then we got Envious. Who knows? That Envious versus Set to Destroy, I believe they play uh, each other in this first game. Yeah, who knows? That could be the upset of the day right there. G2 versus Rogue. I feel like this could... Uh, go either way as well. It just depends who shows up. Um, no, they're the opposite of them. Like, G2, everyone accepts them to win. Oh, but not make it to LAN. Yeah, that's one thing with G2. Finally, uh, with the X Games, we saw them at a LAN. And we saw that they're not uh, impenetrable. Because the two times we've seen two of their players before it lands, Rizzo, great run with take three. No one expected them to come in fourth. And Kenobi, obviously a world champion. So it was the first time we've seen them fail at a land. So we know that they can lose on live set. Well, live settings, uh, but at least like with a stage and all that. So um, we'll see. Like, uh, oh, this one's tough. Hmm. The thing that sucks is we'll, we might get a rematch of G2 and Rogue. And I could easily see these series just flip flopping. Like whoever loses, all right, whoever loses between G2 and Esport, uh, G2 and Rogue is going to move on. I'm calling that right now. So whoever loses in this match right here will move on. I don't know which one it's going to be yet, but they will be the team that moves on. I think Envious will take the top seed, but G2 played them extremely closely at the Astro tournament as well. Um, and the, uh, they were both on s uh, similar pings. So it's possible that we could see an Envious uh, get upset and come out as a number two. Maybe even not make it. Who knows? 
But uh, I think they will get the number one, and I will give whoever loses between G2 and Rogue the second seed because they will play in the final. We'll have a team that just lost while a team that just won. So I think the team that just won from the lower will win in that final. I am going to give it to Rogue. I'm going to go Envious and Rogue. G2 will win the first series, so we get the hype, Envious versus G2, and then G2 will bow out. So that's what I'm going with. Um, moving on. Yeah, pool number four. We had Ambition, Flipside, Genesis, and Renegades. Who knows? With Renegades, they got the win over Rogue. I don't think they can repeat it. I think it was a one-day thing or a one-series thing. I got Flipside and Genesis, but one thing with Genesis, uh, like Lethemir, putting in the work like crazy. Uh, J Wiz was like one of the best subs out of all the teams in North America. Just didn't get a chance to play. Like every time he played for them and just random stuff, he would play extremely well. He's a very good player. Um, and then I just, I just don't know what's classics. I feel like he didn't play that well uh, today. Every time I see him on like an RLCS stage or anything like that, he's relatively quiet. He's, he's technically the worst land player in history for at least the RLCS uh, world championships uh, to be fair with an 0 six. Like I just feel like he doesn't show up in big moments. So it could be a little scary. I hope uh, for his sake, I'm hoping that that he shows up uh, tomorrow and gets some confidence going into the last day. I think Genesis do beat renegades. I think flip sides a little bit lucky with this group. Uh, this is the easiest group by far. I would say out of all these groups and flip side has not been playing like flip side as uh, in the past. I don't think that's necessarily Mystic's fault. I think it's kind of a combination of all three. Um, Flipside got a little lucky with this group. I might have said that they might not have made it out of some of these other groups, but I will give them probably the number one seed here. Uh, Genesis could probably put up a fight with them. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm going to go Flipside and then Genesis. Like, I don't think Classics is terrible, necessarily. He does play a little bit differently than other pros, but it, the way he plays normally doesn't impact goals, and it doesn't impact on the defensive side either. He's more of a midfield guy, so, he, so he's a little bit quieter, but I don't know. Like I want him to be more impactful on the offensive side. I know he can be. He just hasn't really shown it all that much. Um, but... I will give Flipside the win in this group. I think it's an extremely weak pool, so I think they get a little lucky here, and they'll move on. So we'll go to the top eight. Problem is, we're going to have to remember what we said earlier. So uh, we had Energy as number one. They would play Muffin, man. Like, holy hell, what a matchup that is for that first round. I would give that to Energy. Mm, actually... I'm going to give it to Muffin Men. I think Muffin Men will beat Energy and move on to the semis. We'll see, because that'll be by the third day. I feel like Muffin Men will be pretty comfortable in a LAN like Sudden. I'll go with the upset here, and I'll give it to Muffin Men. I really like how they're playing. Uh, flip side would then play Rogue. Yeah, they don't have G2 here, right? So that makes sense. Yeah, so it would be Rogue second. And that's who I said. Yeah, so that makes sense. Ooh, this one's tough. Um... Let's go Muffin Men and Rogue semifinal. And this is not NA bias. This is more flip side bias. I feel like flip side, I don't know. Like if it's their first game of the day again, they haven't they haven't been showing me a lot. But they did win DreamHack, obviously. So they showed up there, but I don't know. I, I, I can't trust flip side. I can't really trust Rogue either, though. Oh, this one's tough. No, I'm switching. I'm going flip side. I believe in Mystic. He's my boy. He's play, he, he played amazing last season. I think he'll show up. I'm going to give it to Mystic. Flipside Tactics moves on to play the Muffin Men. Uh, Muffin Men will beat Flipside Tactics. So we'll just we'll just say that. Let's go to the next round. Uh, Gale Force versus Mocket. I think that makes sense. I had Gale Force win in their group. I had Mocket coming in second, right? It's hard to do this without... Where was Mocket? Yeah, I had Mocket coming in second. Okay, so this one is pretty right. Then the bottom one's the weird one, I think. I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to go with it. Uh, Gale Force. Um, yeah, Gale Force. Because, like, Gale Force is too good. Mocket is one of those teams that can surprise and beat them. Like, Pashi actually shows up pretty decently 
at land sentence. He showed up at DreamHack with a completely weird team with Scrub Killer and Niels Cook and did pretty well. A beaten Rogue uh, early on and then coming in third. Almost beaten Flipside as well. Probably should have beat Flipside in that tournament. Uh, so that so this one could be a little bit of a surprise factor, but I think Gale Force is just too good. Gale Force will move on. Then we got Envy versus Genesis. Um, so I guess I did just have all the same top eight. That's really boring. Um... Yeah, Envy would win that group. Genesis would be second. I might have mixed something up, but who cares? Um, I think Envy wins that. I don't think Genesis is ready for that prime time yet. Uh, they still have a lot to grow, though. Like, they're a new team. Uh, I could see them doing well coming uh, coming to league play. I could see them uh, trying to steal one of those top four spots, for sure. Um, so, I will give this one to Envious. And then we got... Only one NA left again. Like always. Energy are the last hope. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm sorry. Not energy. Muffin Men, the last hope this time in the final four. I'll give it to Muffin Men over Flipside Tactics. Then we'll get Gale Force to move on over the Muffin Men. And then we'll get a rematch from the group on day two of Muffin Men and Gale Force. And I believe Gale Force will take that series. It could be pretty close. I'll probably go like six games. Um, I feel like Muffin Men... With gimmick, like gimmick's been plain insane, and uh, they've all been really solid uh, um, as well. So I ha have a lot of faith in them for this tournament. I have Muffin Man going to the finals versus Gale Force. Gale Force getting the win though. Finally getting the win for um, K Dop and Violent Panda. Always coming in second. Not this time. Gale Force gets the win, and that'll do it for this uh, bracket. Definitely watch, guys. DreamHack should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of talent at uh, DreamHack as well. Well, a lot of talented people. Uh, we got like Quinns out there, Chiefs, Fickle, Wave Punk, hosting like a beast, Lawler. I believe James is supposed to cast at some point. Maybe not. I'm not sure. He was on the announcement. Maybe they were like, we don't need him. Whatever. So we'll see. Uh, but a lot of talented guys there. Uh, go support the casters. Uh, support the players for sure. And if you're at DreamHack and you're watching this, I don't know why you are. Uh, definitely go hang out with the players. Like, go find their hotels, go stalk them, and uh, definitely go hang out with them. Because all these players are very cool. That's like one of the best experiences is when you get to go to these events. Everyone's very friendly with each other. There's very minor like conflict between any players. Because like, even if like teams get moved and disbanded and stuff like that, sure, probably people are annoyed for a little while, but then they get over it after like a week. So. Very friendly community. I love the pro players, uh, the community around them, and they're very good with their fans, at least most of them, I think. Let me know if you have any bad stories. That could be a great video. Uh, but yeah, definitely watch. Support everyone. Cheer like crazy in the crowd. I saw like our crowd versus CSGO's crowd. CSGO's got to catch up. I don't know. Sure, they they have a major going on in some other country, but whatever. Still, there's we still have a lot of people watching. So uh, definitely go support the players. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this DreamHack preview slash predictions slash it's in the middle, so it's not really a preview. It's also a review slash at least it's a three-day event because the casters had, like, a 12-hour day last time in Sweden. So I'm happy for them, at least. But anyway, that'll do it for this DreamHack preview. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Twitch chat. I probably missed some things from Twitch chat. I think that there's a lot of people yelling about G2. Um, that's normal. Either they hate them or love them. It's like the Yankees, you know. It's the way it is. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. All right. We're done.